Creating wires in AutoCAD Electrical is pretty easy as it will automate um, all that numbering for the wires for you. Now, normally what we do in normal AutoCAD, if you are working with your schematic, uh, you'd have to go through to your text, create a text over there, say one, two, three, or 10 or 50, and then copy it to the other wires and then go and change it to the appropriate wire number for them. Now, with AutoCAD Electrical, we can automate the wire numbering process by clicking on wire numbers and doing a wire tagging. So with this wire tag, I'm just gonna go say drawing wide and then tag all the numbers for this. So what it's done is it's also looked at all the other numbers in this project, but there I've got 55, 56 and 57. Now, one of the things happening over here is that maybe I want to reflect that this is fiber um, that these, um, you know, that, that's on this wire. So give me the number plus, you know, what the wire actually is. And we can do that with the um, help of our, our layers that we've got. So if you take a look at the layers um, in this drawing over here, you'll see there I've created all my layers um, and the layer name is made up of a combination of the wire color and the size. And you can see over there it reflects percentage C is the wire color and percentage S is the wire size. Now, what I want to do is I want to make sure that, you know, if I've got uh, BLK, um, then that's fiber. For BLU, maybe that's ethernet or something like that. Okay, so let's take a look at how we do that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the properties of the project. Okay, so I right click on the, the project name and go to properties and I go to the wire numbers tab. Now in the wire number format, you'll see there it's reflecting that it's just percentage N, which you can see over there, 55, 56 and 57. Now what I can do with that is I can say, I want it based on the wire layer. So with that wire layer over there, I'm going to go to layer setup and it brings me this over here. So I've just created something there previously. So now what I can do is I can create a, um, a wire layer name over here and I'm going to say it's going to be BLK and then I'm going to do a star over there. Okay. And then for the default, I want it to be the number. So percentage N. And then I want it to read, say, fiber. Okay. And then I can add that to my name over there. Then the next one I want, so I'm just going to go back over here to see the other wire name. So if I go over here, so black, and then let's make it red. So we'll use anything from the red over here. So BLK. So let's go back to the properties. And we'll go to our wire numbers and then layer setup. Now let's add the wire layer for red. So I'm going to say RED. I'm going to make it a wildcard search. And then for this, I want it to be percentage N. And then it needs to be, say, Ethernet. Okay. And then I can add that for my wire number format. Okay. So once that's done, select OK and okay over there. Now what I wanted to do is I need to make sure that um, this drawing over here uh, reflects the change that I created over there. So I can either um, right, oh, let's go over here to the schematic, right click and apply projects. And what it will do is apply the project defaults to all of these drawings over here. Or I can just go through to the wirenames.dwg and I can say properties, apply project defaults. By applying project defaults, if I right click and go properties, drawing properties, you'll see under my wire names that it's reflecting that I, uh, okay, so it still says percentage N over there. Okay, so just to show you that. Um, but when I go to my wire numbers, okay, you'll see there that it's now got that ticked, use wire land format overrides. Mm -hmm. If I go to setup, you'll see there, there's my black and there's my red. Okay, so now I just need to add some uh, red to these, um, uh, to the, uh, sort of the, the wire. So let's go to wire. Let's, okay. So the current wire type is red. Okay. That's fine. So let's just do that over here. Is this red? Okay. There we go. So this is on black and that's on red. If you don't know what, um, layer property layer it's on, you can just go to your home. And you'll see there black 0 0.5 and for this one it's red 2.5 okay so now i'm going to go back to my schematic and i'm going to click on wire numbers i'm going to say tag retag all 
and I say drawing wide and you'll see there one two three fiber 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 and one two three ethernet 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 so this is a nice little trick uh, that you know if you do want certain um, wires to maybe hold a little bit of additional information that that you actually specify you can do it like that and for instance if you didn't want you know if you just wanted um, another line to be um, you know sort of the Ethernet or just you know four five six I can still go to my wire numbers over here instead of saying use wire layer format overrides I'll say just use my normal wire tag over there and instead of saying tag re or I'll say tag and I can even pick individual numbers over there and then I'll select that and you'll see there it just says 55 instead of the one two three Ethernet and one two three Ethernet over there okay so there we go that's just a way to be able to um, sort of modify the way that we number our wires uh, when working in Autocad Electrical thank you very much for watching